hello guys in this tutorial we are going to see how to add and remove a docker image so there are three things we should understand in docker and that is docker engine docker image and docker container docker image is a backend a backend uh, thing which uh, handles the docker request uh, it is dependent on the os so we should not much worry about that so let's focus on docker image and container so docker image is basically a template from which a container is created so these two are separate things uh, you will understand when you work a lot on it so this tutorial will be helpful for uh, any new user who just have installed docker in their system so let's get started so let's see what are the docker images i have in my docker So this is going to give me the list of images which I have. Um, let's say I need a uh, Fedora image, then I can make a request. Uh, this will pull the Docker from the Docker Hub repository. So if I give Fedora, it will pull the latest images from the repository. So these two I do. It's not this is important, but we are not going to cover this now. Now, now let's see the uh, Docker images we have. After pulling the header, we have we have got two repositories. So then, uh, after this, we can uh, uh, stop this Docker. To start, we need to use the command run it and let's say i want to run spedora i will give this image id and i do go in bin bash so this this can be anything i am i am telling to run bash so that i will get a shell you can directly start apache your web server if you have in that docker So I have directly got inside that. So this is a container ID. You see the, this ID and this ID get diverse. So what happened is this container has utilized the template from this image and it's running as an Docker for us. Let's do an exit. Now, uh, if you want to see what are the containers we have then we need to use this ps command so it says there are no containers running at present minus a gives gives you all the container history so these are the container id the image name and command which you have run what is this 40 second ago and we have exited so let's try to delete the container and image now to delete a container we need to give doctor rm the container id now if you see the same command again it won't be available so this is to delete the container if I want to delete an image so I have this two image now I think I don't need Fedora so the command is rm image and that, that's short form of image i and then the image id it get deleted So the key thing here is this image ID and container ID differs. This both are not the same one. And it to if you want to at any any point, you just need to know the ID. Docker images minus Q. Q stands for it will return just the ID. Similarly, 
so for every image related commands i am specifying the docker images and for every uh, container related command i use this ps so here minus a and q it gives you all the container id thanks guys thanks for watching this video